two home remedies for warts that have been tried head to head with the common medical procedure and one of them has turned out to be significantly better and much safer. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. If you end up liking this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. It's totally free, by the way, for those of you who don't know. It'll just help you to know our upcoming videos on Health and Homestead. Looking back through history, there have always been remedies. I mean, you look back, as, as long as man has had disease, there have been remedies. From the ancient Chinese, from the Native Americans, wherever you are in the world, there have been remedies. And by the way, when you look at standard, you know, big pharma, the way they actually often find out remedies for various diseases is they literally have gone to indigenous peoples and they've asked them, hey, when you have a stomach ache, what do you use? And then, you know, these natives might show them, oh, we, we take this leaf right here and we crush it and we make a tea. And then they test it and then they find out, well, was that just kind of a folk remedy that didn't work? Or maybe it actually did. And that's why they used it for centuries or millennia. And then they find out, does it actually work? The great thing is we can actually test these things today and find out, do they actually work? So when it comes to things like, well, warts or skin problems, are there certain remedies? Now, there's a remedy that's been used in the Middle East for millennia for skin issues, not only for warts, but other skin issues, and that is figs. People have used this in Iran, and what ends up happening when you test it against standard therapy? And I'm gonna let you know, it's not as good as the standard therapy, but the second remedy we're gonna look at is even better than the standard medical procedure. But I did find a study on the latex from fig trees on warts. Cryotherapy or the freezing or kind of like burning, it's like so cold that it almost kind of burns the skin. What happens when you compare them head to head? Let's look at the research. A traditional remedy in rural areas of Iran was to use the latex that comes from the fig tree for warts. So researchers put it to the test and their findings are published in the International Journal of Dermatology. 25 people with common warts on more than one area of their body were to apply latex from fig trees on one wart and on another wart standard cryotherapy or this freezing was applied. Well, what happened? 44% of the warts with latex were completely resolved versus 56% of the warts treated with cryotherapy. Now, keep in mind that historically cryotherapy was not an option. So we do have some benefit, at least the fig tree or the latex from a fig tree being used on the skin, particularly in warts. What we do see is that research points that it has a benefit. Now you say, Chad, but that's not as good as cryotherapy. You're right, it's not as good as cryotherapy. But this second remedy we're gonna look at is a home remedy that anybody could do. It doesn't burn you and damage your skin. It actually can just heal you and you probably have this remedy just sitting around your house and you didn't realize this was going to work. The next one is duct tape and warts. A modern remedy for warts has been duct tape, JAMA. Now what on earth is JAMA? JAMA is the Journal of the American Medical Association. Just in case you're wondering if you're not privy to the, to the medical field, any doctor knows exactly. If you say JAMA immediately, you know you're looking at a, a reputable scientific journal probably one of the top scientific journals in the United States when it comes to medicine, the Journal of the American Medical Association. So what did they actually find? JAMA reports on a study comparing the efficacy of cryotherapy, this freezing therapy, versus duct tape. The researchers refer to it as duct tape occlusion. They had the people in the duct tape group cover their wart with a small piece of duct tape for six days. The sixth night it was removed and then a new piece was reapplied in the morning. This was done for a maximum of two months or until the warts went away. How did it compare to standard cryotherapy? Something that everybody has in their house, duct tape. Well, check this out. 60% of those receiving cryotherapy had full healing from the wart versus 84.6% of those in the duct tape group. So all you have to do is this one simple remedy, home remedy that anybody can do, and you can do it from home and 85% of the time nearly, it's going to simply get rid of your warts. And how does it work? All you have to do is take a piece of duct tape, cover the wart, and you have to keep it on there six days in a row. And then on the sixth day, you'll take a new one and you'll reapply. And this can take weeks 
But the good news is you don't have to go have your skin frozen or pay a bunch of money to have this taken care of. How much does it cost? I mean, just as much as a roll of duct tape and they probably have some duct tape at the dollar store. Although often the cheaper stuff just doesn't stick as well as the more expensive stuff. You know, it'd be nicer if the cheaper stuff did, but hey, this is an incredible option. So now we know the research and that's the great thing. That's what we look to find here on health and homestead. We look at the scientific journals, at the actual research. We're not just trying to find random people's opinions about overcoming, you know, health issues. We want to look at the scientific research and we compare head to head the actual standard therapy with the natural or the home remedies. And often what we find is the same thing as they found in this study, that the home remedy or the natural remedy, I don't know how natural duct tape is, but the home remedy can be just as good or better with significantly less side effects. I'd love to hear uh, your testimonies. Have you used something else for warts? Have you found something else to work? Please share in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you liked the video. God bless and have a fantastic day.